The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making her way to the ring from Sydney, Australia, JC Bright. Now, backstory behind this match is a little up in the air, if you'd like to call it that. JC Bright obviously has been a dominant force here in BWF, but has recently came across some roadblocks in the form of Sunshine Chan. It was during this time where JC would go out of her way to bully and humiliate Chai up to the point where their match at Fool's Gold, Chai came out on top. But JC had a segment right after where she came out and was interviewed by her opponent tonight, Amelia O'Connor, to a point where Amelia started to question JC and JC being JC got pretty offended by it and decided to take her frustrations out on Amelia O'Connor, which lets Amelia requesting this matchup against JC tonight. Obviously JC is in no mood to mess around here tonight. So this could be bad news for Amelia if she doesn't keep her head up. And what knows this woman could bring. And her opponent from Dublin, Ireland, BWF's resident interviewer, Amelia O'Connor. Now, for the most part, Amelia has been just that, BWF's interviewer, and been one of the sole mouthpieces for BWF. However, it was after said match with JT Bright and Sunshine Chai at Fool's Gold where Amelia came into the mix. See, Amelia started to question JC, and JC didn't take too kindly that, of course, which led to this woman going straight to get this match sanctioned. Now, some people might say that Amelia is insane for requesting this match against JC Bright, but at the same time, you don't attack someone and get away with it. Nobody would. Let's just hope that she's ready here tonight against Jason Bright. It's our match. It's underway here. A few moments. JC Bright. Amelia O'Connor. The match is underway. Ref rings up Bell. Both women just staring down each other. Just a stare down of attrition here between Amelia Connor and JC Bright. And JC throws a first punch. Oh, what is this? Already! Oh my god! A rocket kick right to the, the head of JC Bright. Sending right over to that clothesline. And Amelia is psyched up here. Taunting JC to get back into the ring here, which she's. Gonna climb the steps to do so. Getting back into the ring now. The fire back. Try to go for a close on here, but Amelia is able to reverse here. Some strikes of her own now. Going for the, this chop combo here. The double chomps to the chest of JC Bright. Now looking for a cent on. Going up to the middle rope now. What does she have in mind? Go for an axe handle. Right to the skull of JC Bright. And they have to realize JC Bright's JC Bright's momentum might be a bit falter in the previous months to come, but oh try to go for a uh, try to go for a jump clothesline there, but JC avoid Oh! I'm gonna have sit out choke bomb, I'm gonna go for the soccer ball kick to the back. JC Bright's momentum has been followed the past few weeks because of Sunshine Chai beating her at fool's gold, but Ryan has all time is gonna be dangerous for this one. Wait! Oh! Kicking the shins right out from JC Brown in the middle rope and go and try to go for that DDT, that flip over DDT, but no, JC had to scout it. Dawson there into the ropes, gonna go for a Lufthas press. They're gonna slam her head down on the apron just multiple time here. No give, affecting the head and neck area of O'Connor. JC 
slowly getting this match back into her control. She looking for here, like tried to go for a strike there. Really had it scouted. Gonna go for a chop. Jay's right with a few strikes of her own. Thrown away by a million now. Trying to go back for these clothesline chops again. Trying to go for another sent on out of nowhere. Oh, next snap too. Maybe stringing out this offense together. This could be monumental for her. But the top rope calling her up to her feet. And oh, beautiful Meteora. The double knee is right to the face of JC Bright. And oh, JC with a kick to the top of the head there. That up kick. Go for. Oh! Pendulum backbreaker right to the back of O'Connor. And a knee to boot as well. Just trying to work on the body of Amelia. That hip attack and pushing her down just to taunt. Taunt to the fans here in attendance with a kick. Right after the fact, just gonna work on the arm now, stomping on it. Amelia, not, not a huge fan of that offense though. Gonna have some of her own and a huge beal throw right into the corner there. Not into the corner, but in the area. JC Chili getting to her feet. Amelia's gonna try to sling some offense together. What could she be looking for here? We'll be looking for the pounce! The pounce connects by Amelia, but JC just got back up to her feet! Oh my god! Boo right to the face! Amelia might have just made a big mistake. Nope, throws the arm away. But look at JC now. She could be going for a suplex here. Oh, stalling here with it. Taking every second of her own just to stall around with this suplex attempt. Got all of it right there. Dig her up to her feet. And drag her wherever she needs to drag her to into the corner she goes. And up, oh, JC. Going for an old oh, big elbow. Right to the jaw of Emilio O'Connor. Oh, JC's feeling herself here. She feels like this could be the beginning of the end here. Oh, Emilio just stepped out of the way of what she was trying to go for there with a kick. And the strike's gonna go into, oh! Sending her out of the ring with a big boot over the top. JC slowly getting to her feet. And Emilio with a suicide dive through the middle rope. Oh my goodness. She is more than just a few words a night, folks. She is way more than just that. Going up to the top now. Could she be looking for here? JC's only getting up to her feet. Going for a DDT. DDT connects right from the top. A diving DDT. Looking for the Grave Digger. Bob onto the knee. Grave Digger connects. Cover by Amelia. This could be it. One, two. No. A big kick out from JC. Keeps her in this matchup. The fans are all eating it up here tonight. JC slowly getting to her feet. Amelia tried to go for something there. But JC was too quick to... Uh, oh. JC looking for the Riptide. Riptide connects. Cover by JC. One, two, no. Kick out by O'Connor. What does JC have to do now? Just going to go back to the flexing game. Oh, boot right to the back now. Oh, Amelia just got right up to her feet. Oh, my goodness. Earthquake! Earthquake by Earthquake! Earthquake! <laughs> One, two, no! Amelia was so close, but JC was just able to kick out. Amelia, what's she gonna go for here? Oh, big cross body from Amelia. Amelia calling JC back up to her feet. She gonna go for it. Oh, middle rope spear connects. And oh, JC getting back up to her feet. 
Mayla connects with the strike. Tossing her into the ropes once again. Oh, big flapjack now. Taunting to the ground. Oh, my goodness. Jay-Z. Jay-Z just got back right up to her feet. Not having any of that. Jay-Z trying to go for a real bear face buster now. Oh, what is Jay-Z looking for now? Oh, here we go. Locking it in. Locking it in with that buzz killer. That buzz killer is in. Is that Amelia going to tap? No! Amelia doesn't tap. She fights right out of it. Oh, look at her again. Going for it once more. Oh, what's she looking for here? Calling her over. And around the world we go! Amelia with the cover! No! JC kicks out. But oh wait, Amelia's not finished here. Amelia is not finished. Tried to go for it. And perhaps maybe another around the world attempt. Perhaps that Ireland's call. But no, JC is able to fight back. And with a hair rake right to the, oh my goodness, right to the multicolored locks of Amelia and JC's feeling it now. Wait a minute, is, is that Tina Russo? What is Tina Russo doing here? Tina Russo is just distracting JC right here at ringside. And Amelia, Amelia from around the world, she could do it right here. One, two, three, Amelia. Emilio Connor beats JC Bright. And here's your winner, Amelia O'Connor. Emilio O'Connor able to pick up the win here against JC Bright. What does Tina Russo have to do with this? Why does she come out? This match is for the Black Car Championship. Making our way down to the ring first. From London, England, the challenger, Chelsea Wicklow. Now, Chelsea has quite the night ahead of her, especially coming up to this match. The weeks prior, she had been in a few matches with the champion, but was always on the losing end and quite a dominant display. Obviously, having her pretty newly budded relationship with Roxy Guns, we both becoming our allies of sort against Ashlyn. This led to this match, and also led to Roxy being banned from ringside against this woman coming up right here. And now, the champion. She is the black heart of VWF, the black heart champion, Ashlyn Ropes. Now, what is there not to say about Ashlyn Ropes thus far? 
she has been nothing short of dominant. Ever since becoming the Blackheart Champion, she has decimated everybody in her path. Injuring, destroying anybody who steps in her way. If there is anybody who steps even a further inch away from how she likes it, she's going to destroy it, no matter what. As long as she keeps her title around her waist. Well, previous matches leading up to this moment, both were obviously know each other pretty well. But is it really going to do anything? We have a black heart. BWF, the, wi the Withered Rose herself, Ashley Rose, standing across Both ladies in the ring now, this is what they are fighting for, the Blackheart Championship, and becoming the Blackheart of BWF. First, the challenger from London, England. Chelsea Wicklow and the champion the black card of VWF herself the withered rose from New York Ashlyn Rose both ladies seem ready here as Ashlyn parts with her title handing it off to the referee Referee going down to Chelsea. Look at that title. She's ready for it. Both ladies are ready. Ref holds the title up as we're ready for a battle here tonight. Chelsea Bicklow, Ashlyn Rose. Ref, ring that bell. Let this match get underway. And here we go. Oh my god! Straight out of the gate. One. Oh, only a one count. Ashlyn thinking this was going to be an easy fight off the bat, but no. Chelsea is very re resilient in her own right. Going off the ropes with a big jumping knee. Putting her down, going for a backstabber. Right in the center of the ring. Chelsea is trying to mount some offense here in the beginning of this match. Going up to the top, bro. She could be looking for already. Calling her up to her feet. Going for a diving axe handle. Connecting to the face of Ashlyn Rose, but for a kick right to the face. Oh my god. Ashlyn slowly trying to get up to her feet. Turning around. Chelsea's got her. We go for a judo throw. Jeez. Ashlyn get back up to her feet. Gonna go for another one. Just spinning her down with a, with a takedown. Oh my goodness. Ashlyn could be unprepared or go for a third one now. Just toss it around like nothing. Chelsea's got to be careful though. Because Ashlyn is one tough, tough cookie. Trying to go for a backbreaker and clothesline right to the back of the neck of Ashlyn Rose. Going to the top rope now. What could Chelsea be looking for? Going for a diving form to the face now of Ashlyn. Ashlyn slowly getting to her feet, trying to get back to a vertical base, trying to go for a back and straight and going to use these strikes of her own now. She's very lethal of her striking game. Going to chop these punches, back fists, sending her reeling. Throw right to the corner, going to go for that back elbow. And not finished here, going to go for that 450 splash. Ashlyn's firing all cylinders here. Going back to the top rope. Should be looking for here. Going to go for a 450 elbow drop. Connecting to the chest of Chelsea Wicklow. Trying to get back up to her feet now. Toss her outside of the ring onto the apron. And drop kick sends her out. Right onto the outside. Go for a dive here. And oh my gosh, beautiful. Flipping over the top rope to connect with Chelsea. And toss it right back into the ring now. Following suit. Gonna go call her up to her feet. What she could be looking for here. Gonna go for a springboard drop kick. 
celebrates with that effort. I'm gonna go for these headbutts onto the mat now and just connecting with the head. And it's not gonna stop until she's had enough. Oh my god. Chelsea don't have any fun with those headbutts. Trying to get back and mount up some ovens. Oh, send back out. This is why Ashlyn Rose is so feared here in VWS. And go for a... Oh! Trying to go for a shooting star, but Chelsea was too quick. Be able to get back into the ring and avoid the attack. Chelsea trying to compose her figure here. Trying to play to the crowd a little bit. For how good that will do, I don't know. Oh, look at Chelsea. Just standing in the ring. Watching the champion slowly get back to her feet. And oh, oh my god! A rolling code breaker! A rolling thunder code breaker to the face of Chelsea. Try to go for a kick there. But that was blocked by Wicklow. Good work on the arm. Now sending it down. Go for a spiral tap kick to the back. Go for a soccer ball kick. Gonna stomp away now. Gonna go for that boot to the face. Chelsea trying to slowly get back to it. And oh, tried to go for that knee drop right to the top of the chest. But Ashlyn had it scouted with Def's last left. That could be it right there. Cover. One. Two. Oh, kick out. Chelsea stays alive here. Her dreams of becoming the black art of VWF are still alive. But how good that could do. When Ashlyn Rose has your hands on you, I don't know. Try to send her up to the top rope now. Gonna go for a Spanish fly at the top. Oh my god. Cover. One. Two. Kick out by Chelsea. 2.9. The fans love it after that Spanish fly exchange from the top rope. Both ladies put their bodies on the line here for us tonight. Ashlyn trying to go for a knee right to the chest. But Chelsea firing back with these kicks now. Another knee to the chest. Oh, rolling elbow. Gonna go for a double leg drop to the midsection. Gonna go into the corner. Gonna go for a diving. Down elbow. Go go to the middle rope. What should you be looking for here? Looking for a missile drop kick from the second rope. Oh, but she's not. Oh, she's not done. She could be looking for it right here. High park hangover. Cover by Chelsea. One, two, no. Ashlyn stays alive and is still the black heart of VWF. Chelsea, though, not letting up from this relentless assault on Ashlyn Rose. She will not be denied. Gonna go for the top here. What's she gonna go for? She's gonna, is she gonna go for it? She's gonna go for London's Calling. London Calling! Boom! Connects with London Calling. She gonna go right for the cover here. Go ref in position. One, two, no! Ashlyn kicks out at two. Chelsea has to be beside herself. What does she have to do? Ashlyn going back up to her feet now. Potentially be good looking for her one last way to put her away. Going up with a flap dragon. Oh, what a cross body to the back of the neck. To the back of Ashlyn Rose. Chelsea could have been looking for it again, but no. Ashlyn being able to dodge and connecting with these kicks to the face of Chelsea. A little bit of face wash for you. And connecting with one last boot to the face. Ashlyn's on fire. Trying to get back to her base. Trying to get back to what she knows best. Could be looking for it. Shock twist. A cover by Ashlyn Rose. This could be it right here. One. Two. No. A 2.9 kick out. And Wicklow stays alive. What does she have to do next? She has to pull something out of her bag of tricks to become... Oh! Death last laugh. That could be it for Chelsea Wicklow here tonight. Two. No! She kicks out at 2.9 once again. She stays alive. The fighting spirit of Chelsea Wicklow won't be denied here tonight. 
Ashlyn Rose is beside herself. Going for another move here. It's down here to a return bug. Are you trying to go for maybe for that back help? No! Chelsea was able to reverse it. Trying to go for it once again. London calling. Looking for it. Oh no, she's... Yes! She's got it. She got it. London's calling. That could be it. Cover. Cover. One. Two. No! Ashlyn kicks out again. What is she going to have to do to put her away? Ashlyn, Chelsea, they are both fighting for the spirit here tonight. Oh, she to look for it again, but Ashlyn had it scouted to go with an with an assault to the arm. Oh my, shock twist, shock twist, shock twist. Connecting. Cover by Ashlyn. Two, three. Here is your winner, and still, the black car champion, Ashlyn Rose. Now that was certainly a impressive showing by Ashlyn. Nearly knocking off Chelsea Wickler here tonight. Pulling a bag, pulling a trick from her bag of tricks there. But she looks on to the future, what could be, what the? What is this? Oh my god! Ophelia's in the ring! Ophelia! What is she doing here? Ashlyn trying to solve it, but Ophelia tucks the title shot. Ophelia's gonna go for it. Ophelia making her present known here tonight! Oh my gosh! What did we just witness? Ophelia making her presence known here tonight. Could she be the next in line for Ashlyn Rose's Blackheart Championship? After that certain display of dominance and that certain display of messagery, it could certainly seem the case. One of them is giving up and giving in, tell me, in this house of mine. Nothing ever comes without a consequence of cost, tell me, will the stars align? Will heaven step in, will it save us from a sin, will it? Cause this house of mine stands strong. That's the price you pay. Leave behind your heart. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making her way down to the ring first from Seoul, South Korea. She is Sunshine Chai. Sunshine Chai making her way down to the ring now. For a match against Dakota Wheeler. This match came about after Sunshine Chai ended up debuting here in BWF and made several, several matches on her belt known. One of them being Dakota Wheeler, being one of the bigger names here in BWF. Episode 16, Wheeler ended up facing Esperanza and won, only for this woman, Chai, to come out and go face to face with Dakota Wheeler. Next week, Chai ended up facing Esperanza herself and used Dakota's Dragon Sleeper to win that match. The final week leading up to this match tonight, Chai ended up 
ended up interrupting Dakota's interview and asked for this match, which this woman politely accepted. And her opponent, hailing from Salem, Massachusetts, she is Dakota Wheeler. Now, unlike most matches here on this card, most matches here in the VWF, these two really don't have any bad blood towards each other. This was just a match that both the women in this match wanted. And they graciously went after it for each other. No matter who walks out of this match, this could elevate both women here. Both women are able to say that they have respect for one another. Going down to ringside, Chai, Wheeler, both women seem ready to go. Ref, ring that bell as the match is going underway here tonight. Oh, Chai telling to bring it. But also Wheeler feeling herself in the beginning moments of this match. Both women showing a sign of respect. Here. And oh, Wheeler tried to throw the first punch, but Chai was able to reverse that. Wheeler starting back with these strikes now, but oh, Chai throws it away. And goes try to go for a cross chop there, but no, neither guy going for that. We that knee bounce down to Gurry right to the ch oh, telling her to bring it now as Chai slowly gets up to her feet. Both ladies are pretty balanced here in their ways here. And oh my god, what an axe kick to the head of Wheeler and sending her out of the ring now on the outside. Wheeler taking a moment to close herself, and Chai, oh my god! A plancha dive right out of nowhere on top of Dakota Wheeler here. Sending her back inside the ring now, trying to compose herself. What is Chai looking for? Up in the top rope now, looking for an axe handle. Chai is putting everything in from her playbook here. Chai is going back up to the top, but Wheeler has her caught. Tossing her off the top rope into the middle of the ring. Now she's going up to the top rope, but she could be looking for... Oh, Chai catches her now. Is Chai going to go to the top rope as well? Yes, but oh, Dakota catches her as well. A cat and mouse game of sorts. What you can do, I can do. Oh, it looked like Chai was about to get her, but no. Dakota was able to catch in a big clothesline to the back of the head. Dakota being able to pick her spot wisely here, tossing Chai into the corner, and oh, at forearm sledge right to the face. These boots, this face wash, and cover with another mouth. Oh my goodness, a big boot to follow. We we're inflicting a pain to Sunshine Chai, trying to damper that shine. Going for a neck breaker now into the ground. That splash. Wheeler now potentially gonna go try to go to the top rope, but Chai able to get backed up to her feet. But oh, Chai caught her. Chai caught her as Dakota tried to to jump right on top of her, but no. And Chai being tossing her. Almost right into the ropes there. Chai going going around now. And oh, oh, caught her in an arm bar. Caught Dakota in an arm bar under the ropes. Chai is so vicious on those ropes. Going up to the top now. Course through moonsault. Cover by Chai. One, two. Oh, kick out at two. Both ladies using both their power moves here in this match thus far. Chai picking her up, dragging her over. So into the ropes, dropped down by Chai, and went for that Japanese arm drag. And going for a trying to go for a jumping knee, but no, Wheeler is able to catch it with her knee, Bell just a gurry and it connects. Was Dakota gonna go for here, going for a downwards DDT? Now reverse downwards DDT is lethal. We're gonna go with the knee into the lariat. Wheeler just trying to find a flaw in Sunshine Chine's game plan here tonight. 
I'm trying to go with these strikes now. Chalk into the gut, trying to focus on the gut with those punches and kicks. What's Dakota looking for here? Trying to go for her Karana now and snapping off Chai Sen to the middle of the ring. And oh, an up kick by Chai. I'm trying to strike back here into this match. Tossing Dakota into the ropes. Going to go for that Total World DDT. Very good offense here by Chai. But could be looking for that charging. 450 splash and it connects. That pinball charging 450. Everybody on her feet for Sunshine Chai. Chai calling Dakota up to her feet. Could be looking for the whirling candy. Whirling candy by Chai connects. Could be looking for that. Looking for that good morning driver. Hub got it. Is she gonna go for a cover? Yes. Cover by Chai. One, two, and a kick out by Dakota Wheeler. She would have had it. She covered a few seconds before, but no. Dakota stays alive. A jab by Chai gonna off the ropes now, and oh, sent out of the ring by Dakota Wheeler. Chai slowly getting her feeling the outside. Dakota going to the top now. What's she looking for? And oh, what a missile drop kick. Dakota soaring over. Kicking Sunshine Chai right into the face with the missile drop kick. Sending her back into the ring. Going back on the top rope where she is so everly lethal. And a diving axe handle to the face of Chai. Tying to the fans a little bit. What could, be, what could Dakota be looking for here? And an STO. A big STO right onto the canvas. Dakota Wheeler now just dragging Chai into the middle of the ring. Could be looking for it. The Huntress lock is locked in. Huntress lock locked in in the middle of the ring here. Will Chai be forced to tap? No. Chai able to evade it with a snapmare reversal, but Chai, 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 Hunter's log of her own, Hunter's log of her own now. Oh my goodness, is Dakota going to tap to her own move here? No. Just being able to get out of it, but no, Dakota being able to fight back with a float of her DDT. Chai slinging to her feet, but no, Dakota now with that Kazudora foot stomp. Chai slowly going out after her feet, but going with that jumping form smash, that kip up as well. Slowly getting back up to her feet now. With each beat, both women are pulling out their power moves. Dakota up to her feet, but oh, a big springboard drop hit by Chai. Sun Chai showing why she is the brightest here in VWF. Now just taunting to the crowd. A bit, a boot right to the back. And oh, Dakota just got back up. Gonna go for that killer instinct. Cover by Dakota. One, two, no. Chai kicks out. The fans here eating up this incredible matchup thus far. No. Dakota slams Chai into the turnbuckle, coming into the top rope now. What could she be looking for here? Oh my. Gonna be going for. Oh my gosh, a her Corona, an avalanche her Corona from the top. Both ladies are down. But goes slow, getting back up to her feet. Cover by Wheeler. One, two, no. How the hell did Sunshine Chai kick out of that? Chai is still alive, shining bright in this match. Gonna try to go for another Kazador foot on, but no. Chai had it scouted with the knee. Chai gonna go for a jumping knee of her own. Cover by Chai. One, two, no. Kick out by Dakota Wheeler. The Hunter stays alive in this matchup as well. Chai drawing her into the corner now. Should be looking for. Oh, what a chop into the chest by Chai! 
What is Chai going for? Whirling Candy! Whirling Candy by Sunshine Chai. This could be it. She's calling for the end here. She could be looking for... No! Try to go for a chunk in the chest, but... Oh, wait! Eat the knee! Eat the knee by Dakota Wheeler! Eat the knee connects! Dakota Wheeler could be looking for the end here. Gonna go over the Hunter's Lock once more. Locked in. Is Chai forced to tab out here? Is Chai going to tap? Or is she going to get out of it? Chai taps out. Here is your winner. Dakota Wheeler. A big props to both ladies in this match. Both ladies exhibiting why they are two of the top stars here in VWF. Following contest is set for one fall. Making her way to the ring first. From Swansea, Wales, Lucy Foster. Lucy Foster looking ready here tonight from the fans to face off against Sarah Parker. Once more, and oh my god, that's Sarah Parker! She's running with a kendo stick, oh my god! Viciously attacking Lucy before their match, and a power bomb on the outside, oh my god! Are, are you kidding me? This match hasn't even started yet, and Serge is viciously attacking Lucy! Somebody has to come out here and stop this, where's security? Pulling her right back down the ramp. Everybody's in shock of the events that's gone here this far. Going up to the top, what she could be, what should, oh my, oh my gosh, her Karana from this vicious assault from Sarah Parker. To the top now, and Corkscrew and Moonsault. One, two, three. That, I, I, don't, I don't even know what to say after that match. I, oh, she's not done, is she? She's not done. She's going to look for more ways to inflict her after the fact. Sarah Parker is waiting to make a message out of Lucy Foster. Especially coming up to this point now. Wait a minute. That, 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 that's Sammy Stone. Sammy Stone. 
Sammy Stone is here. But what are her intentions? What is she gonna do? Is she is she here to save Lucy? Sammy Stone debuting here tonight. Making her way down to the ring, and Sarah's perplexed, and so is everybody else here who bought a ticket. Making her way up to up the ramp and up on the steps now. And there, there we go. Sarah trying to go for a shot here, but no. Sammy caught the shot and she just going right and left to the face of Sarah Parker. Gonna go for a power bomb now of her own. Wait a minute. No, 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 no. She's looking for a Phoenix Flex. Oh my goodness. Phoenix Flex power bomb from Sammy Stone now and looking here to make a message right out of Sarah Parker. Boom. Sammy Stone making her presence known. Sammy Lucy Foster, but she's not done yet. Paying her back up to her feet. Going for one more kill shot. Boom. Sammy Stone sending a message to Sarah Parker. Sarah back out to the ring, and there she goes. Celebrates her successful defense of Lucy Foster. And debuting here on VWF. This match is for the world famous Dark Star Championship. Making her way down to the ring first. From Chicago, Illinois. The Cuban brutalizer herself, Caitlin Black. Now, going right into this match here, this all came down to. Olivia Madison, the reigning World Famous Dark Star Champion, being handpicked by Taylor Lover herself, who took Olivia under her wing right at the event of Fool's Gold. However, this was right around the time that Caitlyn decided to come out and challenge Olivia, calling her out that she didn't deserve anything, that she was given the opportunity and didn't win it by hard work. Ever since she called out Olivia, Caitlyn has been nothing but dominant. Has been a pretty serious threat in Olivia's short reign so far. The question is, can Olivia make it out tonight, becoming the world famous Arcer champion? We'll just have to find out. And the champion. Hailing. From Camden, New Jersey, she is Taylor's protege, the world famous Dark Star Champion herself, Olivia Madison. Now, as we went over a few moments ago, Olivia was handpicked by Taylor Lover herself, who took Olivia right on her wing. And 
basically coached Olivier right until she basically won the championship for her. Which has led to this match after Caitlyn decided to debut on episode 13 of EWF and call out Olivia for her actions. Which is leading to this match here tonight. And if I've been, I've been reading what I've been reading, this is going to be one that's going to be off the shelf. This is going to be an amazing match between both competitors. Hungry for gold and hungry to prove themselves here in this matchup. Just see Olivia with that title as uh, come down to ringside here. This is what both women are fighting for. The Dark Star Championship. First, the challenger, Caitlin Black. And now, the champion, Olivia Madison. And then see Olivia handing off the title to the referee. He's going to bring it over to the other hand for maybe the only time that Kalen's going to ever get close to that belt officially. Both ladies seem ready to go here. Oh, referee, ring that bell, and this match is underway. And oh my god, what an end to Guri right off the bat from Caitlyn. Just bringing the offense, but Olivia fires back with a shot to the face. Caitlyn throws that punch away, but a knee right to the gut of Caitlyn. Trying to go for Shernui, but oh my gosh. Caitlyn reverses it to a power slam out of nowhere and now just trying to scrape the face of Olivia. Already trying to demean her. That grounded style picking her back up to her feet. And toss her into the turnbuckle here. Go for a clothesline. Jeez. A play out to the fans here. As Olivia tries to bear herself back up to her feet. But I'll try to fire back with a farm right to the face and a drop kick to send her reeling. But O'Kaylin okay, gets right back up, but a head scissors right into the ropes. Oh my god. Went to the top, bro. Is Olivia looking for? Oh! What a dying form. Right to the face of Caitlyn. Trying to bring her down the size of a few boots to the face. And they're going back up. On the apron below her, and oh, hot shot right to the face of Caitlyn Black. The champion in full well control. You're going to the top rope now. Oh, what a moonsault. Crowd all hyped up for Olivia so far here. And Caitlyn trying to bounce off the ropes here, trying to get back. And oh, fires back with a punch, a few punches to the face now. Trying to get back into this matchup, and oh, Meteora! A beautiful Meteora from Caitlyn. Trying to just go to work on the head of Olivia now. Just punching and punching and punching in the face. A kid right or left to boot there. And oh my goodness, these match slams right to the. In the center of the ring there. Oh my goodness. Caitlyn's fired up here. Olivia's trying to get some more offense back in. Trying to do the best she can, but she can't do much here. Oh! Just a head. A slap to the back of the head. Caitlyn's psyched up here. No! Olivia fires back with a drop kick. And oh! A big knee strike to the jaw from Caitlyn Black. Caitlyn tossing her into the turnbuckle champion. Looking weary here. And oh, these punches in the corner now. Squaring right up with Madison. Sends her down. And oh, just choking life at her for that knee. Right across that throat. Of the champion. And Caitlyn just trying to reel in the excitement here in this matchup. Knowing that she could be possibly be the next... World Famous Dark Star Champion if she plays her cards right here in this match. And oh, what an exploiter suplex from Black. She's on top in this 
this debacle now. Oh, looking for a oh, that wrist lock code breaker right to the face of Olivia Madison. The fans taking in the action here thus far. And Kaylin could be reeling right for the God Eater. A cover. One, two, and a two kick out. Olivia stays alive here tonight. And oh, this only set Kaylin off, off the deep end. Going to just try to punch a life out her, picking her back up to her feet. Could be looking for another death note of sorts here. Anything that could possibly get the upper hand and that lyric sure did picking her right up gonna go for a power bomb oh oh gonna go for another one now double power bomb boom right on the mat the fans here taking the action thus far these two power bombs leaving Olivia reeling and Kaylin just enjoying it telling just telling Olivia to get back up to her feet now and gonna go for another God Eater! Cover! Referee in place. One, two, and no! Barely kicked out at 2.9 by Olivia. And Kaylin's not having any of this. Just stomping the life out of her now. Kicking and stomping at the face of the champion. It's just been Kaylin thus far in this match. Olivia's. Hasn't been able to do much aside from just take the offense thus far. And oh, a snap elbow right to the face. Olivia's getting back in this match. Oh, what a kick to the face. Trying to fire back here any way she can. Biding her time. Good look for that. Her Karana right into the ropes there. Go off the ropes. What's she looking for? Avalanche right to the back. The fans hyped up for seeing Olivia's comeback here and trying to go for it now. Going for the beauty in pain. Got it locked in. No. No. Kaylin fights out of it. Kaylin fights out the beauty in pain. And oh, another knee right to the face. Try to go for a jab. Olivia was able to go for it and go and go for that that frills and spills right to the chest of Kaylin. That could be it right there. Referee position. One, two, two point nine. Olivia's livid. Kaylin survives here in this matchup tonight. Getting back up to her feet. Kaylin's reeling. Sent to the outside. Olivia's all psyched up now, playing to the fans, but she. Just keep her eyes on Kaylin. Oh, what's she looking for here? Oh my god! What a stunner to the outside! Olivia Madison might have just knocked out Kaylin's chances of becoming the new champion here tonight. Referee counting down. This could be it right here. Right for Kaylin if she doesn't get back up to her feet on time for the ref's count. Oh. Slowly getting back up to her feet, though. Rushing right in, back in, right in time. And Olivia going right back under the soul of a German suplex. Firing back. And oh, another clothesline center right to the outside. And what does Olivia have in mind here? Going for an axe handler right to the head of Caitlin Black. Olivia's been right on point ever since. Being able to connect with beauty and pain. She's been nothing but a house on fire. Going for another. Oh my god. Oh my god. Kaylin just killed Olivia Madison. Right in the midair from that double axe handle. She has to be broken in half. And go for the kill shot perhaps. Uh, another. Oh my. Trying to go for the god here. But a Olivia countered it. Olivia countered with a DDT. Trying to go for it now. Going to go for that upsy daisy. Upsy daisy. Picking Rack up to her feet. Going to go for the thrills and spills. Cover by Madison. One, two, and three.
Here's your winner, and still the world famous Star Star Champion, Olivia Madison. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making her way to the ring. She is from Chicago, Illinois. Is also known as Chicago's Fire, Samantha. Yeah. Now this is quite the match here. Going go into a few details here. Originally, Samantha's opponent here tonight, Karen Jordan, was the inaugural Mr. Evil. And one of her defenses, she had to survive a goal match, which she eventually did, but Samantha here was one of her opponents. But she eventually wasn't in the match to attack by Speranza Dauncey, so she never did get a fair shot. But come fool's goal, Karen ended up losing the title. And then doing a open challenge on the episode 16 edition of BWF, where Samantha accepted and beat Karen Jordan. This had people speculating and realizing that maybe Samantha could have dethroned Karen back in that match. But here we see tonight at Summertime Slaughter. Let's see if it was a fluke. And her opponent from Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, she is Karen Jordan. Now Karen Jordan is one brutal individual herself. Obviously being the inaugural mistress of evil and having a pretty good reign up to this point. Until she lost to tell of tools gold, she has been on a tear recently. But that setback in episode 16 still begs the question. If she was still champion, would this match dictate Samantha being the champion now? That's the question we aim to find out here tonight. Samantha, Karen, both ladies are ready to go here. Ref, ring that bell. This match is underway. So everybody, it starts up. And oh, wait a minute. Samantha tried to go for a clothesline off the bat, but Karen had it scouted. Try to go for it. Oh my goodness, final strike. Final strike off the bat from Karen Jordan right off the rip. Cover by Jordan. One, two, 2.9. Samantha stays alive. Oh, and... That didn't make Jordan happy at all, just punching the life out of her. What does Jordan have in mind now? Just gonna drag Samantha into the turnbuckle here. Top left turnbuckle going to be these kicks now. No rolling Savat to end the combo. Now we go for these boot strikes. Is it a face? A little face wash for you. Here comes the last one running boot to the face. That could break a nose. Now, 
Karen just figuring out ways to try to pick apart Samantha Young. Now going at the face of her. Kicking her in her chest. Running up to her feet. Karen now throwing Samantha into the bottom right. Her and and tell her to bring her her best shot. And oh! Karen trying to go for something. Get caught up in the tree. Whoa! Samantha firing back with a knee. Strike to the face. Karen go for a kick to the back now. Soccer ball S. Messi would approve himself. Go up to the top. Samantha going to look for a frog splash. Soda splash. That soda splash connects. One. Karen kicks out at one. Are you kidding me? Taking her back up now. What could Samantha be looking for here? Try to go for a move. Potentially going for that sweet tooth. But no. Karen able to get back here with a punch to the gut now. What? Oh! Lights out! Karen's on such a tear in this match. And oh no. Just gonna take her now. And throw her right into the corner. One of these Muay Thai knees. Right to the chest of Samantha. Now just trying to kick the life out of her. That foot press right to the throat now. Karen going. Oh, double knee is right to the top of the chest. Samantha slowly getting to her feet. Dragging over and go for that boot kick to the face. Oh. Trying to work on the arm now. Samantha trying to get up to her feet. Oh, a jumping knee strike. Connects. What is Karen looking for here? Is she going to... Oh, no. 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 Oh, no. Curb stomp right into the mat. Samantha is starting an uphill battle here. And Karen Jordan is not giving in to any of the mind games. Tabber snap locked in by Jordan. All of his mind games that we've been playing on her might not amount to much here if she tabs out right here. The tab or snap. No! Samantha gets out of it. Oh, Samantha, though. Gonna look for it. Connect it with a jawbreaker. Oh, she gets it. She gets all of it. Gonna take the opportunity here. Is she gonna look for the soda splash once again? Soda splash connects. Cover by Samantha. One, two, no. Karen Jordan kicks out at two. Samantha just has to keep fighting. Just has to keep on rolling in the offense. To the final way in her game where she can fight and bring it to her. Oh, that, that knee strike right to the top. Of the head of Karen Jordan connects. She goes for another soda splash. Connects. Cover by Samantha. What? Kicked out almost in. Oh. Going up with a face breaker. I think that just woke Karen up instead now. Just going to go and strike the ever living hell out of Samantha Young. Oh, gonna look for it once more. That final strike connects. Is that it for Samantha Young? But it looks like Karen might have other intentions and her evil twisted mind. Gonna go for another one now. Another final strike connects. Oh, wait, wait. Samantha Young is playing possum though, stripping her up. And trying to go for a roll up here. Roll up by Samantha Young. One, two, three. She gets it. Samantha Young just upset Karen Jordan again. That was no fluke. She rolled her up. Karen Jordan living. But here is your winner, Samantha Young. No fluke here, ladies and gentlemen. Samantha Young has done it once again. Oh, wait a second. What is this? What a despicable, despicable ex display from Eve Sparks here tonight. Debuting out of 
just running up on her. What is this? Oh. She just won a ma she just won one of the toughest matches of her their stay here in VWF. Come on. Show a little respect to Samantha Young. Just throwing her around. No remorse. Why I don't know why Eve Sparks is even out here. She, she she's yet to show up. Oh, you're on VWF programming, but just laying her out. I'm gonna go right back into the ring, just staring, blowing a kiss. Oh, it looked like Karen had had enough of the her antics as well, but another kiss of death. And Eve Sparks has a lot of questions to answer for. Out here, after this. Oh, wait a minute. Now, oh, hot shot. Hot shot. She's not done. Eve Sparks is not done here tonight. Gonna go for another one. Bam. Eve Sparks just laid out both women here tonight. Both women this match. Karen Jordan and Samantha Young. And making them pay. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Karen Jordan has Tapper Snap locked in on Eve Sparks. Oh my god. Oh my god. She just caught her. Has it locked in. Is she going? Is she going to? No. No tap here from Eve Sparks. Oh, going to put it locked in again. She has it locked in again. Tapper Snap. Tapper Snap is locked in once more. No, she gets out of it once again. Eve Sparks is retreating from the ring. As Karen Jordan looks on at her attacker. Certainly didn't win here tonight, but. Oh, here we see it. Every show needs a spark. Toronto, Ontario, Canada. Are you ready for some villainous wrestling federation action? She is I don't do this for the riches, I'm infected, Julia my condition is Bill I'm always Rick. in my head These words are my religion, well, I'm obsessed well, by well. decision I'ma Talk do this till I'm dead yeah. Set me on fire, set me on, set me on fire This match is sketch for one fall. Making her way down to the ring from Fulton, New York. She is the White Eagle, Julia Bolek. Julia Bolek looking ready for her match here tonight. The events leading up to this match being at Fool's Gold, Julia was scheduled to face somebody. However, that match was scrapped due to some outside reasons. So Taylor ended up giving Julia an open challenge to kick off the show at Fool's Gold. To which hometown hero Dakota Damore stepped up and beat Julia in that match in her hometown of Toronto. A wrestle match between both women ended up leading to this match here tonight. Julia was ready. But is she ready for this woman once again? And her opponent from Toronto, Ontario, Canada. 
she is Queen Coda, Dakota, Demore. On episode 16 of VWF, this woman ended up beating Sarah Parker. But as Parker ended up taking that loss, she went to attack Dakota. However, Julia ended up making the save for Dakota Demore, which led to Duk Julia's match against Haley Roberts on the 17th episode which Haley ended up trying to go to attack Julia but Dakota ended up returning the favor. Both women wanted a rematch from their first match at Fool's Gold which led to this match here tonight out of pure respect for one another. Will Demore strike twice with lightning or will Julia Bullock soar once more? Julia, Dakota, ref, ring that bell, because this match is underway. Both ladies coming over into a lockup, but oh, chop by Dakota. It's a kick into another chop by Julia, and a chop by, and a back fist by Dakota. Toss her into the ropes, drop down by Dakota, over the top by, oh my gosh. Dakota! Dakota with a choke slam! Dakota just choke slammed the life out of Julia. Julia trying to fight back now with a basement drop kick to the leg from those spikes. Going to the top rope. What should she be looking for? Going for a tightrope drop kick from the top. Here he goes, Julia. Known for her soaring athleticism. Tossing Dakota into the corner now. Try to go for something there, and oh, that jumping knee from Dakota Demore proved so lethal. Dakota gonna go for something, but no, had it scouted, but oh, kick out the legs by Dakota Demore. She thought she had it scouted, but Dakota was right on her. Went to the top now, trying to go for a Turkarana from the top rope. Dakota Demore showing that she can be athletic as well. And oh, she trying to be looking for that tire drive 2.0, but no! Julia snapping off a hurricane of her own now. Going for a back drop kick to the back of the neck of Dakota Damore. Dakota slowly trying to get up to her feet. Dakota has her. Darn, Julia has her. Putting Dakota on the rope, trying to go for a clothesline, but oh! Dakota! Oh my god! Looked like Julia's head just hit the apron there. Slowly trying to get up to her feet. And oh, what is Dakota looking for? Dakota! Oh my gosh! Tobe off the top. That Tobe Suicida from Dakota to more connecting with Julia. And oh, go for a frog splash. Springboard frog splash by Dakota to more into the cover. Queen Coda might have it. One. Two, no. The soaring eagle kicks out. Julia slowly getting up to her feet, but Dakota caught her and going to go for that hip attack. Hip attack that Dakota is so lethal with. Gonna go for a kick now. Gonna go off the rope. Gonna go try to go for a bicycle kick, but no. Oh my goodness. What a her Karana by Julia. Sending her out to the ring now. What could we see from Julia now? Is she gonna go sore? Oh my gosh! A suicide DDT from Julia! Right to the top of the head of Dakota Damore. Julia trying to just drag Dakota back into the ring. Trying to capitalize off that high risk maneuver. Gonna go for that knee balance and a gurry kick. Right to the top of the head. Dakota slowly getting back up to her feet. She's going to repeat it once more. So dangerous with it. Bam! Julia with a big amount of offense here now. Trying to fight back against Dakota Damore. Could be looking for that spike face buster. Got it. Julia now shining. Wizard to the top of the head. The soaring eagle going to the top rope. Double axe handle connects to the head of Dakota Damore. Dakota reeling there, and oh, what a corkscrew sent on by Julia. 
The Soaring Eagle going for a... Oh my gosh! 6.30 cents on. Looks like she didn't get all of it, but cover by Julia. One, two, kick out by Dakota Damore. Julia feeling herself now. Gonna go for something here, but oh! Dakota kicks her. Gonna go for a face buster. And oh, a bicycle knee strike right to the back of Julia Bolek. Dakota with that double stomp right to the chest of Julia. Oh, gonna go for a bullet elbow. Up to the top. Moonsault by Damore. Cover by Damore. One, two. Oh. Dakota looking a little this frustrated thing, and that could have been a three count. Picking Julia right up to her feet with these strikes now. That kick to the chest. Oh, going to go for these strikes now into the knee. These strikes into the chest. And that leads, always leads into the knee. The crowd on their feet for this amazing match thus far. Dakota, what's she looking for? Oh, little bitch get kicked right to the top of Julia's jaw. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Red Bottom Sky by Damore. Red Bottom Sky covered by Dakota. One, two. Oh, the Soaring Eagle soars for another day. Julia Bullock kicks out at 2.9. Dakota going to the top though. She's looking for a double stomp to the chest from the top. What's she looking for? And one on the ground as well. Dakota's fully in control here, trying to crank at the neck of Julia. Keep her grounded, but Julia's having none of that. Shot to the chest. Oh, what is this? Oh, Julia! Julia for the 1683! 1683! By Julia Bullock. Going up to the top now. Looking for Eagle's Flight. Eagle's Flight connects. Oh. But I think Dakota's feet were as on the ropes. Julia. Finding one way. Trying to put her away. Her Karana from the top. Oh my gosh. Dakota just set a bow and a neck twist to follow it. Dakota slowly getting back up to her feet. Who's she looking for here? Gonna go for a Hergarana of her own. The downward Hergarana often considers a Frankensteiner. Now following with these kicks now. Oh, Dakota reverses. Gonna go to a strike fest now. You're looking for that Alabama slam face buster. Crowd on their feet here tonight. We have a barn burner match here. Julie slugging up to her feet. Dakota tossing her to the corner. Looking for the drop kick, but wait, she's not done. Inspired by Danielson himself. Oh, wait a minute. Not done. A third drop kick. Is she looking for a fourth? A fourth drop kick by Demork. Oh my goodness. Four drop kicks back to back to back to back. What could what could Demore possibly be looking for here? Julia slowly getting up to her feet. Dakota picking her up. Gonna go for it. What is this? Oh! I think we're gonna be lost in the haze here tonight, folks. Stuck in the haze connects with Dakota Demore. Is Julia gonna tap? Julia locked in and stuck in the haze. Just wrenching back, but no! Julia firing back for the jab, getting out of it. And oh, could be looking for it once more in the 1683. Could this be Dakota's moment? Did this could this be Julia's moment to tie up in Dakota's moment of failure? Eagles flight connects! Eagles flight connects! But Julia not finished just quite yet. Tossing Dakota into the ropes. But oh! Dakota caught her little bitch get kicked by Damore! 
Julia slowly getting back up to her feet now. Trying to go for Red Bottom Sky, but it's countered by Julia Bolek Reed. Benzaguri kick to the face. Julia could be looking for it. Oh my goodness! Connects with the talent strike. Gonna go back up for it. That Eagles flight connects once more. One, two, three. Your winner, Julia Bolek. What an amazing match for both women. This was an absolute barn burner. Nothing to be ashamed of from Dakota. And what a per great performance by the winner here tonight. What an absolute clinic here tonight. Apple's gold eye ruined Cheryl's moment. Her moment, her night. <laughs> nah, no. Not around here. What the hell is the Cheryl woman doing out here? All of my feelings are gone. And people believe that now that she's angry, she's capable of kicking my ass? That bitch doesn't even know how to lace up her own boots. Why do people believe she's worth anything? She can't hang with a true champion. She can't hang with the big names like Nereza, or even... <laughs> Who are we kidding? Nereza. Cheryl brings nothing to the table. She doesn't bring an audience like the rat Morgan. She doesn't assert any dominance like that thing Ashley. And she wasn't handpicked like Tony or Olivia. She is a nobody. What you want from me? What you want from me? Ladies and gentlemen, this match is scheduled for one fall. Making her way to the ring first. From London, England, she is the bombshell, Cheryl Molo. This is a match of the ages. This is one of the biggest matches in BWF history. I can't even speak of how excited I am for this. This match is beyond BWF. This match has happened even before it was opened. As everybody knows, Nareza Malatesta is GDM, the GM of BWF and despised Cheryl Malone here. In the first episode of BWF, Cheryl was supposed to face Julia Bullock Reed for the Mr. Evil title. Nareza instead kicked Cheryl off of the card and gave the title shot to Karen Jordan, who ended up winning the match. Nareza ended up to not book Cheryl until Cheryl spoke to Taylor. It's not only got her booked, but it got her number one considered the match in the process. And this woman right here has made it all in her power to make Cheryl's life a living hell here in her stay in VWF. Making her way down to the ring. Her opponent. She is known as the villain. The co-owner of VWF. The history maker herself. The savior. She is from Ireland. Nareza. Malatesta. It's all because of this woman right here. Nareza Malatesta herself. 
one of the most despised women in not even VWF, but in this industry. It's all because of her that Cheryl's, Cheryl's stay here in VWF has been nothing but a living hell. Not only has she done so much to screw over Cheryl, especially with the Mistress of Evil Championship implications on the mind, but putting her off in the show until Cheryl had to speak to Taylor herself to get something done about it. Ever since, Nereza has made it clear with attacks, with sidelines, and with so much more of words, with jabs, with whatever. Doing whatever it takes to put fear into the one that considerably costs her the biggest title, the biggest prize here in her own company. It was Cheryl Malone who called down Nereza for this match here at Summertime Slaughtering. They signed this. Co they signed a contract for this match. Here at Summertime Slaughtering, we find out will Good Reign Supreme or will Nereza Malatesta kill another one once again. Here we go, Cheryl, Nereza. Both ladies are ready, refereeing that bell, but the match is underway. And oh, Cheryl going right after Nereza. Gonna just stomp a mud hole right into the chest of her and going to humiliate her in the process, it seems. Gonna go right for the face with the hip there. She'll do anything to humiliate the woman that tried to put her away, to try to damn her spirit. These chops from Cher Malone. To realize how, how evil, how villainous Nereza is taking one of the top stars here and Cher Malone and doing whatever she can to humiliate her. But Cheryl might have the last laugh here so far in this matchup. Just making a mockery out of her opponent. The co-owner of VWF. Oh! Big Slash gonna go for another one here. Connecting with the second Splash. Wait, she's gonna go for a third one. Got it as well. Not done. Gonna go for a fourth one. Quadruple Splash. Gonna go for a fifth. Number five. Number five connects. Number six. Oh my god. Oh, number six. At number six. She got six Splashes there. Gonna go for the boot right to the face now, sending Nez down. And Cheryl Malone is fired up here. And oh, another boot right to the face of Nereza Malatesta. Oh! That hip attack right to the chest. Nez slowly getting up to her feet. Lockup connects, throwing her to the ropes. But oh, a knee lift right to the face connects. And that knee lift right in the side of the head of Chair Malone and oh what a kick from the springboard there that side springboard side kick and up oh, gonna go for a swing blade into the drop kick what is Nez looking for up the top bro Nereza going to the top very dangerous elbow drop always dangerous in every stance whenever it be standing whenever it be diving whenever it be on the ground Two kick out by Cheryl. Wasn't enough to put away the bombshell just yet. Someone stalking her prey, just trying to nail her with these knee strikes to the chest, but no, able to flip her away with a gut, a smash to the gut, another smash to the gut. Trying to go with these chops now. And a few picks, and you got a good sound of strikes. Oh, but Ness fires back with a gut and another knee to the face. Ness slowly able to. Put the momentum back in our favor. Just these this strike vest from the corner of VWF. And oh! What a boot to the side of the face of Jerome Malone. And oh! A knee lift to go with it. The demeanor of Nereza. Not something anybody wants to tangle lightly with. She'll know what she shined up for here. But can she take it on with her? What is Snorezza looking for here? Trying to... What is this? 
And for a stalling suplex of sorts here. A stalling... Solid suplex from the top rope. That's that stalling superplex from the top. Setting Cheryl up in the middle of the ring right from the rest of the strike with another elbow drop to the back of Cheryl Malone. The bombshell might be reeling here. The villain picks her up in a swing right back outside now. And that is just demanding the respect here from everybody in attendance. What is Nereza looking for? Oh my, what? She just got her into a powerbomb. A powerbomb out of nowhere. A powerbomb from Sharon Malone from that flip dive from Nereza Malatesta. What an innovative move from Sharon Malone. But uh oh, she could be looking for a weapon here. What is she looking for? She's looking for that steel chair. Nereza slowly getting to her feet. Oh, I shot right to the gut. Both ladies... Do not like each other. We'll do anything to get the other hand from one another. Throwing Nereza Malatesta back onto the top rope. Oh, she could be looking for the BP. BP connects. Cover by Malone. One, two, no. Nereza kicks out at two. Cheryl, though, not able to, not willing to give up. And not able to put the woman who put her for so much hell away. That easily wanted to inflict more damage now. But Nereza might have other plans in store. The chop blocked. Oh no. Oh no. Looking for Death's Door on the chair. Oh my god. Nereza. One. Two. Ha. She just. Cheryl just kicked out at. How did she kick out of that? She just kicked out at two, two and a half. Death Store on the chair doesn't even put her away. Almost like she just survived the impenetrable odds here. And oh, another knee right to the face of Cheryl Malone here. And turn around and go for oh. Catatonic on the outside here. Nereza tossing Cheryl back in the air in our match here. The Code Man event of summertime slaughtering. Both ladies looking later on a. Oh my god, this shovel lays on just a brawl. And Cheryl just took it. Cheryl just took it like it was nothing. Just flipping her and oh. A return shot by Cheryl Malone. What is she looking for here? Looking for early service place on the weapons. Oh my god. Nereza's back in spine. Both clashing on the chair. Oh, another big boot to the face. Her spine and her back just collapsing. Right on those weapons. That chair and that shovel. Could Cheryl be looking for here? Could be looking for a buckle bomb. Buckle bomb in the corner. She connects with it. Everybody's eating this up. And Cheryl's going to go for these curb stomps. These inverted curb stomps. On the chest of, Ma of Nereza Malatesta here. Grabs her. Going to go for... Oh my god! A peel throw on the outside. Sending Nereza to the outside of the ring. Right from the indoors here. And, oh my gosh, what a senton attack to the outside of here. Cheryl Malone will not be denied in our co-main event. Cheryl, though, tossing Nereza back into the, into the ring, look for another weapon of mayhem. Oh, she's looking for that table. She's looking for a table. Nereza slowly getting up to her feet, Real might be realizing what is happening. On the outside here. But. Both ladies just staring down. Oh! Nareza tried to. Most likely tried to knock her off. Into the table below. But Cheryl. Cheryl going to go for another Meteora now. Cheryl slowly taking her time. But Ness able to fire back. With a kick to the head. This ties into the ropes. Oh my god. Throw two hell in back. 
out of nowhere. Cover by Nez. One, two. Kick out by Cheryl Malone at 2.9. How the hell is she still in this matchup? Both ladies have been through hell and back in this match so far. And oh, Nez is fired up here with these punches onto the chest and face of Cheryl Malone. But Malone won't have any of that sweeping the leg from Nez. Arez actually getting to her feet, but Cheryl trying to toss her into the corner here. Oh, a big splash. Trying to maybe repeat what she did earlier. Oh my god! Dead end out of nowhere! One, two, three, what? Cheryl Malone just kicked out a 2.9. 2.9, 2.999, that no way. Nez is livid. She's going to try to pick her up and trying to finish the job here. Oh, she tossing her outside now. Only dire tensions must be at play here tonight. Especially on the ringside area here in our co-main event. What is Nareza doing? Maybe they're trying to flick more damage on... No! Try to go for that table. Try to put her through that table. But no, Cheryl will deny that opportunity. But wait a minute. Wait a minute. Cheryl, she's trying to look for it. She's going to try to do for it. She's going to go for it. Oh, my God. Gorilla plus slam right through the table. Power slam right through the table. Sending Nareza back up to her feet. Amazon power right through the table, and she could be looking for the finale bombshell. Connects. Is this her moment? Wait, no. She picks her back up. Gonna go for the kiss. Good night. Cheryl Malone is not finished with Nareza Malatesta. Could be looking for one more kiss. Good night here tonight. One, two, no. Not done just yet. One kiss, good night, and one finale bombshell from the other scene earlier, but look for it. But oh, oh my god! Oh my god! What? Oh, Trying to go over an item, but she flipped right inside out. What is this match? Oh, she could be looking for it. Nareza could be looking for the end. The dead end. Oh, connects with it. Cover by Nez. One, two, three. Here is your winner, Noreza Malatesta. Here tonight, the co-owner and villain of VWF proves not only to everybody what she did was deserving, but she could do it and do it damn well. This is your main event of the evening and is for the Mistress of Evil Championship. 
making her way to the ring first. She is often known as the cutest one, the cutest idol. She's from Kobe, Japan. She is Yumiko Ueno. Now this main event has a lot of glamour and glitz to it, but let's get right into the, the meat and bones of things here. I take it to glory. Morgan Reed, a fan favorite in the match, thought that she was going to win the title. She was so close, but Tony Satter ended up coming at last and ended up shattering her dreams of winning the Ticket to Glory briefcase. And eventually, with Tony winning the briefcase, she would go on to beat Karen Jordan the same night to win the Mr. Seville Championship. But on the other hand, this woman right here ended up beating Karen Jordan the next pay per view after it was gold, and Bosa win to get herself into this match. But even though she has quite the experience under her belt after being Kara Jordan, Tony doesn't see her as a threat. Now, the champion. Making her way down to the ring. She is the mistress of evil of the WS. From Kyoto, Japan, she is Tony Satoru. As you can see her with that title firmly around the hands of Tony Satoru. A calm, cool, and collected face knowing that she has no issue with that woman right in front of her in that ring. Tony Satoru has been nothing short of a dangerous woman ever since Ticket, of, Ticket to Glory. And ever since she has held that title of a cold grasp. Not letting go for anybody to take it. Willing to do whatever it takes to defend it at any cost. Even injuring her fellow competitors to get her hands on it. To keep her hands on it. It's a whole other thing. We might learn that tonight. As the despicable Tony Satoru walks up with the title around her waist, around her shoulder, and around her hand as of this moment. She isn't phased whatsoever. And that woman outside, Yumiko Yuno. Ueno. She isn't phased whatsoever. Will Tony reign supreme here tonight, or will a cute title reign come to a start? Let's go down the ringside, as this is what both ladies are fighting for. Introducing first, the challenger from Kobe, Japan, Yumiko Ueno. Now the champion, the Mistress of Evil, VWF herself. From Kyoto, Japan, Tony Satoru. Tony handing off the belt to a referee. This could be the last time she sees it here tonight if she isn't careful. This could be the last time that Yumiko ever comes close to that title if she isn't careful. Both ladies seem ready. So, referee holds up the gold. You know what time it is. Yoeno, Satoru, both ladies are ready to go, so refereeing that bell match is underway. Both ladies obviously here fighting for the championship. And here we go, big lock up from both women. You go pushing Satoru off, but Satoru firing back from me. These chops from Yumiko. Oh, and Satoru didn't like that whatsoever. Go on these strikes now. Just trying to beat the tar out of UNO. And oh, Yumiko pushes Satoru off of her. Tony trying to get back up to her feet in time. You know, trying to go for these headbutts now. And the third one. And Tony pushes her off. Champion has to be weary here. Even if she doesn't consider her a threat, anything can happen here in these matches. That's the time world this sport. And oh, gonna go for that takeover now. 
And the leg scissor takeover from Tony. Trying to go for that health cross. Chicken wing there. And oh, wait, wait. Roll up for Miyoko already. One. Oh, kick out at only one. Tony had that scouted. But oh, a missile drop kick of sorts from UNO. Trying to barge all of her offense here. And oh, Papa Pelly kick from Yumiko. The cutest one is fired up here tonight in our main event. Set her outside of the ring. And oh, getting the fans all her. As Yumiko's in the ring here. Two. Tony gets back into the ring from the steps on the apron here, trying to step inside. Just perched up there on the second rope as she watches on, but but oh, hip attack right from Tony, and another one as well. Bonsai drop there. Or a grounded one though. Oh, these chops and strikes from Unico now. And oh, you know, she tried to go for something there, but Tony was able to reverse it. Some kicks of her own now. Unico trying to lock it up again, but no. Nothing came of that, but Tony pushing her out there and going to go for a clothesline into a bulldog. Both ladies now. Oh no, Tony going to try to stomp her way into a successful defense. Both ladies want this title back successfully in our main event here tonight. What this could do for me in careers is beyond me. Oh, what a jawbreaker! From the cutest one. Oh, 450. 450 splash cover. But no. Satoro just kicks out. What does Yumiko have in mind now? Girl, good vibes. Looking for something against the vibe ruiner. Tony hit the back of her head there. As she went down, getting up to her feet. But oh my goodness, crossbody, crossbody, crossbody to the outside for UNO. She is all fired up here tonight. Yumiko will not be denied her shot at the big belt here tonight. Yank up to the ring. Going to go up to the top. What could she be looking for here, Tony? Trying to scout her offense, but no, a beautiful Miura. Trying to go up for her again. Maybe looking for another 450 splash here. But no, elbow drop instead. Cover. By UNO, one, two, and no, a Nero two kick out. The champion stays alive here, but getting picked up by the cutest one herself. Oh, forearm smash, gonna go for a side kick in the corner into an exploder into the ring. What could she be looking for here? Try to go for something there. But Tony was able to scout with a jawbreaker reversal of her own. Here and going and up. Going to go for these standing hip attacks of her own. Going to go for the third one. Going to play off to the fans a little bit here. And number three connects. Yuka trying to slowly get back up to her feet now. Oh. oh going to go for an empower DDT now. Tony's doing everything she can. Going to go back for these hip attacks now. He's doing anything she can like she's done in previous matches to keep the title around her waist and be relevant in the main event. She is relevant. To oh, be looking for it here. Oh, cover. One, two. No. Yumiko kicks out off the bonsai drop there. Picking her back up to her feet. What she could be looking for here. Dragging her into the the, a, the turnbuckle. Pardon me. Going up to the second rope here. To the turnbuckle. Trying to go here for Codebreaker on the second rope. Oh! Codebreaker. Picking her back up. Oh my gosh. Just throwing her into the corner now. Ever since that code break, I don't think Yuko's going to be the same after that. Just the double knees to the face. Oh, as soon as Sarah kicks right to the midsection. Trying to go for it. Looking for the cutie special. Cutie special connects. One, two, 
And no! 2.999. What is she going to have to do to put the champion here away tonight? You have to pull in a miracle, I think. Wait a minute. What is this? She putting her in a tree of woe position. She's going to go up. Is she, oh, oh no. Here comes going to mushroom stomp her way into the main event scene here tonight. That could have been it. But I think she has other intentions on her mind. What is she looking for? Going to look for her Karana. The double pounds her Karana. Going up to the top now. Tony slowly getting back up to her feet. Oh, look for that drop kick from the springboard off the top rope there. Yuko trying to slowly fight back here with these chops. A kick to the gut of Satoru. And oh, tried to go for something here. But Satoru had it scouted. Oh no. Oh, she's looking for the TDK. TDK on the way here. And it connects. TDK. What oh, so what Satoru looking for here? Satoru could be looking for it here. Satoru going for the final. Pura, no! No parade for you. No parade for you. Going up here with the headbutt now. Yoko is able to fend out the final parade. Trebutting a raid on Tony Satoru's parade here. Throwing her back into the corner. And Yumiko, oh, she connects, connects with the final parade. Cover. One, two, three. Tony Satoru retains. Almost out of nowhere, Tony Satoru is able to pull off the final parade. And here is your winner. And still, the Mistress of Evil champion, Tony Satoru. Wait, who is that? Who, who, who is that? Wait, just somebody just from the top. Stutter! Wait a minute. That's Morgan Reed. That's Morgan Reed. Morgan Reed is back in VWF. Morgan Reed is back and she's attacking Tony Satter. Morgan Reed is back. She's back in VWF and she's bringing the fight to Tony Satter today. Morgan Reed, that got her. That got her by Reed. Oh my god! Oh my god, Tony Reed is back here in VW taking the fight to the woman that injured her at Ticket to Glory. And oh go for it again! Sending a message to the Mistress of Evil champion. Oh my goodness! And she's not done yet! She's not done yet! With a final statement on the belt as well! That final warning shot right to Tony! Everybody here is going crazy! For the return of Morgan Reed. She's finally back. She has it locked in. Is she going to tap? Is she going to tap here? Is she going to tap? It Morgan Reed is finally back here in VWF after the win put her injury. Just has it locked in. I can't even know she lets her go. Morgan Reed is taken in the fight to the, to the woman that put her on the shelf. Ever since Ticket to Glory. And there she is. The returning Morgan Reed is back in VWF. And back in everybody's favorite, favorite spot.